Okay, gentlemen, now what we're going to do, we're going to produce a dog leg in our conduit. That enables the conduit to sit firmly against the wall and still make the accessory, the one we're using here, it's a piece of 20mm uh, metal conduit. Once we've done that, we've then got to put our marks. Today I'm going to be using a uh, black felt tip marker. The reason behind that is so you can see the marks. Ordinarily I'd expect you guys to use pencil. That way you can remove the pencil when finished to keep the uh, installation looking aesthetically pleasing. So once we do that, we put our first mark, which is where the conduit touches the top of the metal trunking. We then measure 100mm up. I'll just gauge it today and then another 100mm up. That gives us our two areas where it's going to come out and go back in. Once we've done that, we then ring all the way around. All the way around. The reason for that will come self evident in a minute. And again, ring all the way around. So we've got our two circles. Then what we've got to do, place our conduit back against the wall. Once we place it back against the wall, making sure that's kept at a right angle and that is vertical, we put a line down the middle of our conduit. We then rotate the conduit 180 degrees and again keeping that straight. We put a mark, so we've got two reference marks now. First one there, second one 180 degrees opposite. What we've got to do is re-enter our bending spring. So shove it in, making sure it covers these two mark areas. Now what we're going to do, we're going to put our knee on the electrician steps again. This allows us to pull back nice and square, make sure you face them exactly straight on. Now what we've got to do now is make sure we keep this leg here exactly pointing down towards the ground. If it's off at an angle, either facing to the back or facing to the front, what you will do is introduce a twist into the conduit and it won't look very nice. So what we're going to do, make sure we keep it in there, make sure it's nice and straight. Once we've warmed it up, we're going to pull back. So I'm just going to warm it up. Like that, keeping the mark in the middle of our knee, our reference point pointing out and the conduit pointing down, we're going to pull back slightly, keeping it square, keeping it square. So we're going to introduce a slight twist. Then what we're going to do, we're going to rotate it this time so that it's pointing directly up. Again, make sure that's directly up little mark in the middle of our knee, keeping that square and pointing straight up, going to pull back. Again, making sure we keep that straight up. Once we've done that, we can then remove our bending spring. Now, if you've got it straight, you can look down and there will not be a twist in the plastic conduit. That will be nice and square. And then when you put it against the wall, it will be aesthetically pleasing and nice and straight with no twist. 